Hello viewers, our team has carefully selected these messages for your edification and transformation. Watch and stay blessed. Welcome to Apostolic Sermons TV. On this channel, you're going to be getting soul lifting messages, prayers that will help you grow and mature spiritually. Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like the video you're about to watch and comment also. Thank you and stay blessed. The gift of word of knowledge can reveal the thoughts and the hearts of men. So when someone has, are you there? All right. Okay. Let me show us a few scriptures in that regard. Luke chapter 6, verse 6 to 10. Luke chapter 6, verse 6 to 10. Luke chapter 6, verse 6 to 10. And it came to pass also on another Sabbath that he entered into the synagogue and taught that there was a man whose right hand was withered. And the scribes and the Pharisees watched him whether he would heal on the Sabbath day that they might find an accusation against him. But he knew their what? You can go to the village for a meeting and you sit down. The moment you sit down, you discover that there was another meeting before this meeting. And the Lord gives you access into all the, the conclusions that were made in the meeting before the meeting. And then you rise up and say, why are we holding this meeting when the meeting has been held before this meeting? And the conclusion that was made is this and that and that. There is darkness in this household. And until it is eradicated, I will not come back again. You, 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 you. <laughs> my, my friend, my friend, I have a friend in Lagos. He's a prophet and he is also a politician. So as I speak, he's the secretary of a local government. And uh, what happened was that uh, they discussed him and went to a spiritist and got a charm and put under his seat so he came and picked up the charm he picked it up and then he invited people for meetings invited his invited him. He said, then he spoke he spoke you know the normal meetings they hold in local government so he finished he said okay you wait behind you wait behind and then he now brought that charm and put it on the table and uh, he now told them that two of you forgot this You forgot this. And the next time you bring this kind of thing again to the premises, you will be crippled. So they just, they, they just greeted. They didn't deny. They took their property and greeted him and told him with assurance that such commodities will no longer be found. <laughs> now, if you are going to work in Lagos, you need a gift or word of knowledge. I, you can you can see me later for details. If you if you want to work in Lagos, you need the gift of word of knowledge. So what means that the Bible says that the manifestation of the Spirit is given unto every man to profit without? Then there must be a profit that this gift makes available to us. What are these dimensions of profit? The gift of word of knowledge can confirm something that God has shown through some other means. It can confirm something that God has shown through some other means. The gift of word of knowledge can bring conviction of truth. We just mentioned that. It can confirm something that God has shown by some other means. Number three, it is the basic equipment for spiritual warfare. It is the basic equipment for spiritual warfare, knowing that you don't know how to fight spiritually. God will need to teach your hands to fight. God will need to teach your fingers to war. 
So if you are getting set for spiritual warfare, you will need spiritual support. And part of the support that God equips you with to make you competent to engage spiritual warfare is the gift of what? Of word of knowledge. Hey there. All right. So it is a basic equipment for spiritual warfare and intercession. And the scripture I have for that is Romans chapter 8, verse number 26. Number 5. It activates faith to receive, especially in a healing or deliverance related situation. It activates faith to receive, especially in a healing or deliverance related situation. Number six, we are going to do in the next uh, few 15 minutes is I will, I will show you how to operate in the gift. Are you there? All right, so. The first thing you need to do, especially, you know, I told you, I taught you how to hear God. The first thing you need to do is create an environment that your spirit can yield to. If there is a praise and worship song that you like, you like um, Hill Song, you like uh, Sinatch, you like uh, um, Nathaniel Bassi, you like Don't Sing, just get that favorite song, slot it in. And thank God these days we have very adaptable means of having music around. We have uh, USBs, we have all kinds of... Your phone too is a radio. Especially when you put it in an empty cup, it will give... Yeah, we've been doing all that. It gives it superlative volume. You'll be wondering, "Ah, is it my phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you condition the environment. The reason for conditioning the environment is so that you can yield easily. In order to tap into um, the realm of God, you will need to um, submit completely to the Holy Ghost. You submit completely. You submit completely to Him. When you submit in your inner mind, You know, when I went to marry my wife, she's from the West, and in order to marry you, dobale, you know, you go down, you lie down on the ground. You can do that in your heart. Just go down. Oh my God. When you submit complete, you see, you see, the, the words of God, the voice of God, is not like the voice of man. This is too noisy. Right? His, his, his words, his voice is tender and is gentle. If you don't know how to steal your inner chamber, you will not be able to pick his frequency. Ooh, kabomo. <laughs> He's always there. He's always there. If you, you give him attention, he shows up. Kamina Saliboko. 